don't forget to click the subscribe as well as the little bell icon. That way, you'll never miss out on the fun. Mater, I've got a great idea of something super fun I can do today. Well, don't just keep it to yourself, little buddy. What is it? Well, Mater, I am going to go and race Miss Fritter. You're going to ask you what? Ask you, you're going to what? Mater, I am going to go over to Miss Fritter's and see if she'll have a race with me. McQueen, there's no way Miss Fritter's going to race you. She knows you're too fast. Mater, she might know how fast Lightning McQueen is, but she has no idea how fast Chester Whipple Filter is. Check this out. Chester Whipple Filter? She'll never know it's you, McQueen. I hope not. She's going to be pretty upset if she finds out it's me. Well, Mater, it's time to go run that race. Wish me luck. Good luck, little buddy. Well, who do we have here? Oh, well, uh, hi there. Uh, the name's uh, Chester Whipplefilter. Uh, you must be Miss Fritter. The one and only. Oh, okay. Well, I've heard a lot about you around town. Uh, I'd be so honored if you and I could race sometime. Do I know you from somewhere? Because you looking real familiar. Oh, no. I, I get that a lot. I just have one of those faces. Oh, okay, muddy britches. Well, if you're ready to lose, we could have that race now. Oh, okay. Awesome. Let's do this. I won! <laughs> well, looks like you won that race. There's only one other car that I've seen that's that fast. Oh, yeah, is that right? <laughs> wow. Well, anyways, uh, uh, yeah, I won. So, uh, that was a great race out there, Miss Fritter. You did a great job. You remind me a lot of Lightning McQueen. <laughs> oh, what? Who, me? Wow. That's quite the compliment. Uh, I mean, because he's so handsome and fast. Uh, thanks. Yeah, that Lightning McQueen is something else. Oh, huh, rain. Oh, yeah, it's coming up a storm. Oh, well, I better get out of here, Miss Fritter. It was great racing with you. Hey, it's something funny going on with your paint. It's starting to run. Huh? Uh, no, I don't think so. What in the world? 
Lightning McQueen! Uh, well, uh, I gotta be going now. So what do you guys want to do? I say we do something fun today. Yeah, I agree. We should do something really fun. Uh, what about you, Mater? What do you want to do today? Well, I say we play a good old game of hide and seek. That sounds like a great idea. Well, what do you think about it, Mac? Uh, that sounds like a great idea. How about Mater and I? We'll go hide. And McQueen, you count to ten, and then you come and try to find us. Alright, this is going to be too easy. Alright guys, go hide, and I'll start counting to ten right now. Oh, come on, Mac. Let's go find a place to hide. Good idea. Okay, good luck, McQueen. This is going to be so awesome. Alright, let's do this. One... Two, three. He's going to be looking for us before you know it. Uh, where are we going to hide? Don't worry, Mac. I got a great idea. Okay, what's the plan? Okay, this is how it's going to go. I got to whisper this in your ear. Okay. Okay, first we want to go in. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. That's one of the best ideas I've ever heard. He's never going to find us. Nine, ten. All right, guys, ready or not, here I come. Huh? Wait a minute. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is going to be even easier than I thought. <laughs> nice try, Mac. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Mac took his trailer off. Okay, I see how it is. Trying to be clever. Well, no worries. I'll just go find him anyway. Nope, not there. Huh, not there either. They're not behind this tree. Huh, doesn't look like they're here either. I thought maybe they might be hiding in the snow. Nope, not here either. Maybe if I could climb to the top of this tree to have a look. Ah, still no signs of them. I thought maybe Mater might be hiding in the tree. Now how am I going to get down? Uh, uh, oh, ow, ow, oh. Ah, that hurt. And I've been hurt a lot. Ah, well, it looks like they win. I've looked everywhere. I can't find them. Mater! Mac! You win, guys! I can't find you guys anywhere. Mater! Mac! You guys can come out of your hiding spot now. You guys win. I've looked everywhere. Surprise! It was starting to get stuffy in there. You mean you were hiding in the trailer all this time? Sure was. Well, where is Mac? Come on out, Mac. Come on out? No way. Here I come. Oh, hey there, McQueen. Wow. Yeah, nothing like a good breath of fresh air. I seen it, but I still don't believe it. <laughs> Yeah, it was Mater's idea. You know, it was a tight fit, but once we got in there, it wasn't so bad after all. Well, congratulations on a game of hide-and-seek well played. I can't believe I never thought to look in the trailer. Then again, I never would have thought you both would have fit. 
for you did an awfully good job looking for us. I mean, like Mike said, it was a tight fit in there, but once we got in there, it wasn't so bad. I could see why you like going for rides so much. <laughs> well, anytime you guys want to go for a ride, just let me know. I'll give you a ride anytime. Aw, oh, gee, thanks, Mac. Well, I really want to play some more hide and seek. What y'all want to do? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun, Mater, but I don't know about you, but I really got to stretch my wheels. I was cramped up in there way too long. <laughs> hey, love the paint job, man. <laughs> Ramon paints you up real good, huh? <laughs> what you think about it, Mater? McQueen, you're looking real good, little buddy. <laughs> Ramon, this might be some of your finest work yet. Ah, gee, thanks, Mater. And thanks, Ramon. You did a fantastic job, if I don't mind saying so myself. <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> no problem. So, McQueen, when you gonna take the new pen job for a test drive, eh? <laughs> There's no time like the present. I still got a few minutes before sunset. That should be just enough time to break it in. Have fun! Well, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Ramon. Bye, Mater. Bye! Doc would be so proud right now. He sure would. He sure would. sun is set and it's starting to get dark. Well, I'm glad you guys rode along with me to test out the new paint job. I guess I'll go get some rest. I can't wait to see what Sally thinks of it. i see you guys later and bye for now. is one big dinosaur. I can't wait to catch him in my big net and take him back to my home where he'll make the greatest pet. <laughs> oh wow, that rhymed. <laughs> yeah. 
if he would just come close enough so that I could throw my net on him, he would be all mine. Oh good, he's coming this way. Soon he'll be close enough. Come on, Mr. Dinosaur, just a little bit closer. Oosie boo boo doo boo. Oosie boo boo doo boo. Oosie boo boo doo boo. Come on, just a little bit closer. <laughs> should be close enough, and then I can toss my net on him and put him in a cage. Okay, here goes. <laughs> yes! Got him! Oh, now that dinosaur can come work for me. <laughs> oh, you're a wild one. <laughs> Mater, look! That bad joker is up to no good again. He's got a net on that dinosaur. He's probably trying to make a pet out of him. You're right, little buddy. He's probably gonna put him in a cage or something. Dinosaurs need to be free. We gotta save him. I got a plan, Mater. I'll go up to the joker and distract him. I'll get him to chase after me. And while he's chasing me, well, you could go set that poor dinosaur free. He doesn't belong in a cage, Mater. He deserves to be free in the wild. Well, I agree, little buddy. You always have the best ideas, McQueen. Ah, oh, gee, thanks, Mater. Well, after I distract the Joker and you free that dinosaur, we'll meet back up. And good luck with that dinosaur, Mater, but I know you could do it. Thanks, little buddy. Okay, let's do this. Good luck, McQueen. Hey, Joker. Huh? What? I bet you can't catch me. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna wish you never did that. You're gonna get it, McQueen. Don't worry, Mr. Dinosaur. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Now just try to stay still while I untie this under here. believe he got away. He was faster than I thought. <sighs> well, I better get back and check on my new pet dinosaur. <laughs> ah, good. No sign of the Joker. Looks like I lost him. I wonder how Mater's doing with the dinosaur. He's probably got him free by now. Ah, well, I better go get ready to meet up with Mater. Well, there you go, Mr. Dinosaur. Free as a bird. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. You better hurry up and get out of here before the Joker comes back. Okay, I will. See you later, Mr. Dinosaur. The Joker's probably going to be back any minute. Time for me to go meet up with McQueen. What happened here? Oh, there's no sign of my dinosaur anywhere. I just don't see him. He got away. How did he get away? I've wanted a dinosaur all my life, and my one chance to get one, and he gets away. 
Why do these things happen to me? Why? Mater, I'm a queen. I'll get you for this. I'll get you for this. Good to see you, McQueen. You sure did do a good job at distracting the Joker. Thanks, Mater. You did an awesome job, too. You got that dinosaur free. Thanks. I sure did. It was kind of hard, because the net was all full of knots and stuff, and I was kind of scared of that dinosaur, but he was friendly, I think because he knew I was trying to help him out. Probably so, Mater. <laughs> I'm just glad you got out of there before the Joker came back. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, Mater, I guess you and I, we make a pretty good team. <laughs> well, you took the words right out of my mouth. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> we sure do. <laughs> but then again, I wouldn't expect anything less from best friends. <laughs> Me neither. It's almost time for my big race. I better head on down to the racetrack, so I'm not late. Oh no, I've got a flat tire. There's no way I can make it to the race in time now. All my spares are down at the track. Hey there, little buddy. What are you doing just sitting here? I thought you had a big race today. That's where I was going to come see your race. Mater, you're not going to believe it. I got a flat tire. Well, that's nothing to worry about. I'll help you change it real quick. Where's the spare? That's just the thing, Mater. I don't have any spares with me. I already took them all to the track to have them on pit road. That means we only have one option. And what's that, Mater? Well, McQueen, you're my best friend. And there's no way I'd let you miss that race. I'm going to tow you there. Aw, oh, Mater, I thought you might have really had an idea. I'll still miss the race. You're a tow truck. There's no way you'd get me there fast enough. Well, like you said, I am a tow truck, and that's what tow trucks do. You just worry about racing, I'll worry about getting you there. Now let's get you hooked up. Hi, oh, this is such a waste of time. But all right, let's do it. Don't worry, McQueen. You're not going to regret this. You hooked up and ready to go, little buddy? Yeah, Mater. All hooked up and ready to go. Well, hang on tight, little buddy. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Hang on tight? He's a tow truck. We're not even going to be going that... <laughs> buddy. We're here. I can't believe it, Mater. That's got to be some of the fastest driving I've ever seen. I never would have thought you were that fast by looking at you. 
That's why you shouldn't judge anybody based on what they look like. Because you never know what's on the inside. Yeah, I guess looks can be pretty deceiving. And never should judge a book by its cover, huh? That's exactly right, little buddy. You better get ready for your race. You're running late, ain't you? <laughs> Not anymore, Mater. You got me here in record time. Now I have time to get my tire changed with time to spare. <laughs> get it? <laughs> spare? <laughs> Yeah, I get it. That's pretty fun. Cruise, I see you've got your floaty tires on and you are ready to go swimming. I don't see why we needed floaty tires when we're using the simulator. Oh, no, 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 Cruise. We're not using any simulator today. You and I, we're going swimming for real. I, I don't want to get wet. I, I just got a new paint job. Ah, Cruise, lighten up. Your paint job will be fine. Now follow me, and you can thank me later. <sighs> you better hope I don't regret this. I'm so glad you decided to come along. This is going to be so much fun. I don't know. This looks awfully high. Cruise, lighten up. Now, let's do this.
Hey Cruz, the sun's going down. Let's get out of the water. Good idea. So Cruz, what did I tell you? Was that fun or what? Fun? Fun doesn't even come close to describing that. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> See Cruz, I knew you'd like it. Maybe next time we could we could have a contest like a race in the water or see who could jump the highest or or maybe who can make the biggest splash. Ah, I really do love this time of year. Thanksgiving was amazing. And now Christmas is right around the corner. I love it. Well, that's enough setting around here. I think I'm gonna ride around for a little bit and see if I see any of my friends. He looks so down. He really looks sad. I ought to go over and see what's bothering him. And maybe I could even cheer him up. Hey, Mr. Alligator. Uh, I couldn't help but to notice that you look like you're feeling pretty down. Uh, are you doing all right? Oh, hey there, McQueen. That's really nice that you stopped by. I haven't saw you in a while. Yeah, it's just that holidays are really hard for me. Uh, wh what do you mean, Mr. Alligator? Wh what? I mean, holidays are great. Not for me, McQueen. Thanksgiving is so rough. All everyone does is talk about all of the things they're thankful for. Like my friend the peacock, he goes on and on about his beautiful feathers, the beautiful colors, and how he loves them so much. My friend the horse talks about how fast he is and his beautiful mane and tail. Oh, that's what Thanksgiving is all about, being thankful. Why does it bother you that they're thankful about what they have? Well, I don't like to think of myself as a jealous alligator, McQueen. But my friend the peacock, he's got the beautiful feathers with the beautiful colors. The horse has got those long, fast legs and that beautiful mane and tail. I mean, I got this friend the goat, he's got the most beautiful horns I've ever seen. What do I have? What do I have to be thankful for? Ah, oh, you have got to be kidding me. You've got so much to be thankful for. You've got the most biggest, whitest, sharpest teeth I've ever seen. You've got the most beautiful green eyes, and you've got skin as strong as armor. Do you realize how many animals wish they had skin that strong, as strong as armor like you've got? And look at the beautiful places you get to live. Beautiful swamps, lush and green and so full of life. These are the places you get to call home every day. You are so blessed. You know what, McQueen? You are totally right. I don't know why I didn't see it. I'm so thankful that you stopped by here and pointed all this out to me. I do have a lot to be thankful for. And I have a lot more to be thankful for. I'm strong. I'm intelligent. I mean, look at the beautiful color my skin is. I love green. <laughs> I gotta go tell everyone how thankful I am. Thank you so much, McQueen, for teaching me a valuable lesson. And teaching me to appreciate Thanksgiving and to appreciate all that I have. 
You know what I'm most thankful for? Is having you for a friend. Ah, oh, thanks, Mr. Alligator. Well, I'm awfully thankful that I got you for a friend, too. I'm glad we had this talk. Well, I better let you get over to your friends. I'll see you later. Bye for now. <laughs> Who would have thought that an alligator would be that friendly? Well, I better head on home myself. It's starting to get dark out here. Jackson Storm. Wow. What are you doing now? Going door to door trying to sell mud flaps for Sterling now? Well, well. If it isn't Lightning McQueen, I'm surprised you're awake from your nap. So what makes you think I was taking a nap? I thought all the elderly took naps. I was actually just sitting here thinking about how awesome it was going to be next time I had the chance to race you and get to finally beat you. Oh, so you think just because your little friend Cruz beat me one time that that somehow means you're going to beat me? <laughs> Please McQueen, don't make me laugh. Oh, Jackson, if I wanted to make you laugh, I would just show you a mirror. Okay, McQueen, you think you're so fast? Why don't you prove it right now? You, me, now. I thought you'd never ask. Let's do this. Okay, fine. We'll race to that little wood pile at the edge of town. Little wood pile it is. Okay, perfect. You're gonna regret this, McQueen. On your mark, get set. You're racing dirty, Jackson. Stop hitting me. Oh, McQueen, I thought you were old, but you're crying like a baby. So Jackson, what do you say? Maybe I should get me a set of those mud flaps you're selling for Sterling. That way you won't get so dirty when we race with me being in front of you so much. Don't get so cocky, McQueen. I slipped there at the end of the race. If I hadn't have slipped, I would have been the one beating you. Aw, oh, Jackson, you could come up with all the excuses you want. But it doesn't change the fact that I beat you fair and square. If we had a rematch, McQueen, I'd beat you. Well, Jackson, we could have a rematch right now if you want. Uh, oh, I would, McQueen, but I, I should probably get some new tires. I mean, since I slipped, and maybe a little tune-up, I, I did get some dirt in my filter when I slipped. And, uh, you know, I... Yeah, uh, maybe a new paint job and a new engine while you're at it. Ah, <laughs> That 
sounds like Thomas. That's gotta be Thomas, and it sounds like he's coming this way too. there, Thomas. I thought I heard your whistle blowing. How's it going? Oh, hello, McQueen. I'm not doing well at all. In fact, I'm doing just horrible. I've lost my track. You've lost your track? How is that even possible? I was taking a vacation from the island of Sodor, and I ventured off my track to go and see more of Radiator Springs. But I've never been this far in before. Then somehow I just can't find my way back. Well, maybe I can help you look for it. Oh, could you, McQueen? My wheels are hurting so bad. I'm not used to being off my track this long. If I just knew which direction to go. Don't worry, Thomas. You stay here and give your wheels a break. I'll go find your track and come back and take you straight to it. Oh, thank you so much, McQueen. You're the best. Don't worry about it, Thomas. I'll find it as fast as I can. I'll be back before you know it. Hope your wheels feel better. Me too. sign of a track here. Just gotta keep looking. Right, this looks like it could take a while. Thomas really needs his track. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit. Still no sign of that track. All right, it's time to really get serious. There's Thomas's track right there. It's 
time to get Thomas back on his tracks. news, Thomas. I just found your tracks. Oh, McQueen, that is great news. Uh, and my wheels are feeling much better now. So please, take me to them. Show me where the tracks are. No problem. Follow me, buddy. But there you go, Thomas. Your tracks. What a beautiful sight. Well, I'm just glad I was able to help you find your way home. I don't know how I'll ever repay you, McQueen. Oh, repay me? Don't even worry about it. Seeing the happy look on your face is enough for me. Well, it's time to get back on those tracks and give my wheels a break. I'm so glad I was able to find Thomas's tracks. Feels good when you can help a friend out. Looks like you're having a lot of fun there, Thomas. Oh, I am, McQueen. Come on onto the track and try it out. Oh, uh, me? No way, I, I can't do that. Oh, come on, McQueen. It never hurts to try something new. You really think I could do it? You can do anything if you set your mind to it. Well, let's do this. Thomas, that was so much fun. I had no idea I could do that. I told you so. You just had to set your mind to it. You can do anything if you set your mind to it. That's true, Thomas. That's definitely true. Well, it was great seeing you today, McQueen. If I hadn't lost my track, we would have never run into each other. That's true, Thomas. Well, I'm really glad I got to see you today. You know, you could come by and visit any time you want to. That sounds like a great idea. And you know, my wheels aren't hurting anymore. Maybe if I got more practice driving on land, you know, off of my tracks, you and I could have a race sometime. Now you're talking. I would love to have a race. That sounds awesome, Thomas. Well, I do have to warn you, I'm pretty fast. That's not a problem. I'm pretty fast too. So, would you like to take another ride on the tracks? I would love to. Maybe you could give me some pointers on how to drive even faster on the tracks. Yes, I could. And maybe you could even give me some pointers on how to drive faster off the track. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea.
there, McQueen. I almost didn't see you there. I know, Mac. You were going to pass right by. <laughs> so, what are you up to? I was just out enjoying this beautiful day. You know, going for a ride. Oh, Mac, that sounds awesome. Would you mind if I hopped aboard? Uh, not at all, little buddy. Hop on. Thanks, Mac. All right, Mac. So, ready or not, here I come. Ah, I'm really glad you stopped by. I love it when we go for rides together. It's so cozy back here. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, McQueen, you know the drill. Better hold on, because this ride is going to be bumpy. switch to the other trailer. This one's getting a bit heavy.
Puffy back here. The other one sure does give me a lot more air. <laughs> okay, I'm off. I'll just wait here till you get the other trailer hooked up. This is going to be awesome. Okay, McQueen. It won't take but a second for me to switch it out. You just wait here, and I'll be right back with the other trailer. Oh, that was fast. Honestly, I didn't expect you back that quick. Well, what can I say, McQueen? I'm fully surprised. It doesn't take but a second to switch trailers. You want to finish the ride? Sure do, Mac. Can't wait to get in this trailer. I get such a better view of the scenery. I apologize it gets so bouncy back there. Ain't much I can do about it. Oh, Mac, you don't have to apologize. You gotta take the bad with the good. I don't mind at all. Okay, McQueen, let me know when you're ready. Sure thing, Mac. Coming on board. Okay, ready. Okay, hang on, McQueen. We're off. Hey, McQueen, you want to keep going? Or you want to call it a day? We could call it a day for now, Mac. That sure was fun. Yeah, I agree, McQueen. We should do this every day. I agree. You sure wouldn't hear me complaining. Going for rides is one of my favorite things. Well, that and racing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love your racing. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Dining McQueen should be through here in just a few minutes, but remember the plan. 
I'm going to hide. If you know exactly what to do, McQueen will never know what hit him. <laughs> yes, Master, I know exactly what to do. Your wish is my command. You created me, Master. McQueen will never suspect that I built my very own robot that looks exactly like Iron Man. <laughs> and my robot is going to destroy McQueen. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. It's only Iron Man. <laughs> I scared me. I'm gonna go over and say hi. It's the Hulk! Quick! Let's get out of here! Now! I'm right behind you. <sighs> Hulk, going to help Lightning McQueen. Hulk got to put out fire. Time for Hulk to use Hulk Smash to blow fire out. Is this real life? Ah, Hawk, you saved my life. It, I was on fire. You saved my life, Hawk. Uh, wait, Iron Man did this to me. McQueen is Hawk's friend. McQueen was on fire. Hawk had to save McQueen. But that was not Iron Man. That was Robot that Mr. Freeze made to hurt McQueen. I thought maybe Iron Man was under some kind of a spell or something. Uh, that evil robot has got to be stopped. What are we going to do? Hulk going to destroy Mr. Freeze and his evil robot. They hurt McQueen and made Hulk very angry. They're not going to like Hulk when he's angry. What now, Master? We were very successful in destroying Lightning McQueen. What shall we destroy next? Successful? We weren't successful. Hawk showed up. He saved McQueen. Now what are we going to do? Hawk is going to be coming for us. He's going to look for us. He's going to find us. He's going to kill us. We have to hide. We have to get out of here. You make Hawk angry. 
You won't like Hawk when he's angry. Oh no, it's the Hawk. Let him have it. Let him have it. Do not phase him. No, he's too powerful. Our weapons are too weak. You make Hawk very angry. Hawk going to destroy you. Hawk, smash! <laughs> Hawk angry. No, please. It doesn't have to be like this. You don't have to hurt me. I won't hurt anybody. Uh, please, no. Hawk smash. Hawk, make sure you never hurt anybody ever again. Is this real life? Is this real life? Is this real life? Is this real life? No. Hulk, sure, you will never hurt anybody ever again. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to watch another super fun, cool, awesome video right now just click on one of the little videos on the screen or on one of the many links in the description below don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video and click that like button so we know you like our videos thanks a lot for watching i'll see you next time